Hi, Dr. May again, Mini Health Talk, to get you healthy again. Today, we're going to uh, study diagnosis disease from your tongue. This is one of my discovery in my practice career. So we call that Dr. Men sublingual diagnosis. So what that means is that you diagnose disease through your under tongue. So how can I, how get, did I get my uh, sublingual diagnosis? Number one, my sublingual diagnosis is created by me from both my traditional Chinese medicine background and a surgical clinical experience. I was a surgeon when I was in China, we wanted to do surgery. You see the internal organs, you observe their colors and change, then you make a, a predictable uh, diagnosis. For the tongue, it's just one of the internal organs that can show up for you for you to see what's changing in your internal body. The other thing is understanding of Dr. Yin Qing Zhang's ECIWO theory, pathology and then physiology. I will explain what is Dr. Yin Qing Zhang's uh, ECIWO theory. The other thing is to diagnose and treat disease through acupuncture and Chinese herb and plan long term care. As if you're a practitioner, you can learn. The, the last part too, if you are uh, just a patient or you just some, somebody who's interested in tongue diagnosis, you don't have to uh, worry about the last two parts. Okay, next one. So Dr. Yin Qing Zhang is from Shandong University of uh, Medicine. And her theory is that embryo contain the information of the whole organism. So to simplify that, is that every small part of a body is a miniature of a whole body. So same parts can treat the same parts. Tongue will be the same way to represent a whole body. Okay, next one. So let's look at the anatomy of Dr. Men uh, sublingual diagnosis. It's just like a, you standing there naked, right? The top is your head and then Top middle is your chest, and the, the, this, uh, this is your spine. The lower part of your body is the uh, abdominal area. And this bubble here, and uh, uh, your crib, uh, and uh, your, uh, here it, we call that genital area. Uh, to women is ovary, and uh, uterus, to men's testicle. Okay, next one. So the principle of DMSD, we're gonna talk about the color first, okay? You, 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 when you ob observe the tongue, the first you see the colors. Red color, color means heat, or toxins, inflammations. White means deficiency. Dark means stagnation. That means your blood flow doesn't go well, then it shows darkness. Yellow means excess, excessive fat deposit and high cholesterol, liver disease, or gallstones. Okay. The bumps, any kind of bumps, irregular shaped uh, overgrowth in your tongue that shows growth or cancer, or genetic weakness to get cancer. For some of them, you, you, when you see the patient have a bumps in their tongue, they might have family cancer history, or they have cancer or tumors in their body already. Dilated vein, Mostly shows sluggish circulation or heart weaknesses. And bruises, so obvious, those internal bleedings, high risk of stroke or heart attack. Next one, please. So, toxin, you can see the tongue so red. So, this toxin and inflammation. Next one. Uh, deficiency. You can see this tongue's pale. What's a pale means that you uh, lack of blood supply. When you lack of blood supply, we call that blood deficiency. There's herb formula, sumu tongue, or imperial tonic for that. If you're a practitioner, you need to learn that. If you're just uh, somebody who's interested in, in the tongue diagnosis, you don't have to worry about that for now. Next one. So this tongue shows stagnation of blood and the qi. So 
in Chinese medicine for the stagnation of blood qi, we have three or four the Xue Fu Zhu Yi Tang, almost like the chest level of blood stagnation. Ge Xia Zhu Yi Tang, the diaphragm level of blood stagnation. Shao Fu Zhu Yi Tang is the abdominal area of uh, stagnation. I use this in our clinic a lot for those people who have three levels of stagnation. Next one. So you can see this tongue shows a inflamed. I hate this inflamed bump. If you just have a bump that have have no redness or uh, stagnation of blood supply, more often you're okay. But if you see the bumps inflamed with a, uh, with a sluggish circulation, more often is this this patient is have a high risk of getting cancer or they get cancer already or they have family history of cancer already so for this we use Guizhi Fuling Wan a lot Pu Ji Xiao Dou Yin Mao Dong Qing cancer support okay next one so you can see this patient have a lot of internal bleedings and also you, when you see the uh, prostate area is so much process so this patient has a prostate cancer prostate cancer we used to use Gui Zhi Fu Ling Wan Pu Ji Xiao Du Yin Che Qian Zi Mao Dong Qing and cancer support and in Evergreen Herb they have peace statin and that works for this too okay next one so for this this patient have a diagnosed breast cancer you can see in the chest area you know, mostly when you have a bump, it's okay. But bump with a pale, pale tongue, that's blood deficiency. Right? And the deficiency plus stagnation. So more often, this, this patient have, if you see some sign like this, you better ask the patient to do a mammogram to make sure to rule out they have breast cancer. This patient have cancer already, we, we know that already. So still we use Guiji Fuling Wan Pu Ji Xiao Du Yin. And for, for her have a blood deficiency, we use Su Wu Tang Mao Dong Qing and resolve upper too. So, so if you see somebody have a pale tongue with stagnations and the bumps, that's an early sign of cancer too. Inflamed, red blood shooting with stagnation, bumps, and the, the pale bumps with blood stagnation. That's more often sir early sign for cancer or they had cancer already. Next one. So bruises, you can see the blood leakage all over. Okay. Bruises usually shows internal bleeding or oh, this patient has a high risk of stroke, high risk of heart attack. Red bruise, I usually use Liu Ji No, Chi Shao, Xian He Cao, Qian Cao. Very dark bruise, I use Bu Yang Huan Wu Tang to prevent the strokes and blood clot. Okay. Yeah, infertility. Infertility, so usually you look at the genital area, they have a roundish fertility bud. But for this lady, she doesn't have a fertility bud at all. Plus in the genital area, it's all yellowish. So you, if you had to receive a patient and have infertility like this, it would be very difficult for you to treated by acupuncture and Chinese medicine alone. More often they need an IVF. Okay, next one. So yellowish, you can see this patient, you can see, mm, generally the, uh, the tissue uh, structure are good, but you can see here the yellowish. That's, you can be 100% sure this is fat deposit or high cholesterol. So for herbal medicine, you always use Zhao Gulan, Ge Gin, Shan Zha, Mao Dong Qing, Cao Jue Ming, Gou Qi Zi, and Klesma from uh, evergreen herbs. So this is the typical excessive fat. Okay, next one. Uh, this is a post, this patient's post lipo uh, sarcoma uh, uh, surgery and uh, chemotherapy. This 43 year old white male came in with a very strong upper back pain, 10 10, red tongue dilated vein, several bleeding spots you see all over, and bumps all over. He has sex four to five times a week. Uh, we use image acupuncture and local point stimulation to relieve the pain 
Later on, I used herb from the Gui Zhi Puling Wan and Pu Ji Xiao Du Yin, Liu Ji No Chi Shao, Zhi Bai Di Huang Wan, and Yu Bei Wan to treat him. Okay, next one. So now you have some basic idea of a Dr. Men's sublingual diagnosis. The key to success is that number one, you have to understand this basic ideas of the Dr. Men's sublingual diagnosis very well. Number two, to improve your skills, I advise you, uh, uh, that you know the diagnosis first, then you look at the sublinguals and see whether you can find the trace of evidence in the tongue to tell you the diagnosis. After you have done this, uh, uh, done the above actions for more than three months, you try to reverse what you see and find out how much accuracy are your predictions. Okay, you do this back and forth for three months. And you may also buy my book, Dr. Men Chinese Sublingual Diagnosis from Amazon Digital Books. That will give you a detailed description of what I'm talk, talk, uh, teaching this today. And remember that your tongue diagnosis is for patients to rule out any disease in their health. It will never and ever be a final diagnosis. I want you to remember that, okay? And the other thing that I want you to hire an experienced acupuncturist to be your mentor so that you can learn it uh, in a professional way and more accurate. Thank you again. Mini House Talk again. We'll see you next time. If you like what uh, you're seeing, um, please sum up. If you uh, want to see more of my uh, YouTube videos, please uh, subscribe to my program. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.